Have you ever wondered where one of the oldest civilizations on Earth began? Let's embark on a journey back in time to the cradle of Chinese civilization. It all started with the Xia dynasty, believed to be the earliest dynasty in China, tracing its roots back over 4,000 years. This era shrouded in the mists of time is known as much for its legendary tales as for its tangible contributions. The Xia people were master craftsmen, their hands skilled in the art of bronze casting. They crafted tools, weapons, and ceremonial objects with a finesse that was unparalleled in their time. Alongside this, they were also adept potters, creating utilitarian as well as decorative pieces, each one a testament to their creativity and craftsmanship. But the river of time flows relentlessly, and as the Xia dynasty waned, the Shang dynasty emerged. The Shang period is a fascinating chapter in the annals of Chinese history, particularly for their use of oracle bones. These were, in essence, an early form of writing, a way to communicate with the divine. The Shang people would inscribe questions on animal bones or turtle shells, then heat them until they cracked. The patterns of these cracks were then interpreted as messages from the gods. This practice laid the foundation for one of the world's oldest written languages, a language that has evolved over millennia but still carries echoes of its ancient origins. The Shang Dynasty's contributions to Chinese civilization extended far beyond the realm of the written word, but their legacy is perhaps best encapsulated in those mysterious oracle bones. The ebb and flow of power is a constant in history. As the Shang Dynasty fell, a new force rose to power, marking the beginning of the Zhou Dynasty. But that, dear listener, is a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the ingenuity and resilience of these early civilizations that laid the groundwork for the China we know today. With the fall of the Shang came the rise of the Zhou, a dynasty that would last longer than any other in Chinese history. The Zhou dynasty was a remarkable era, introducing two key concepts that would shape the course of Chinese history, the Mandate of Heaven and a feudal system. The Mandate of Heaven, simply put, was the divine right to rule. It was believed that the gods would bless a just ruler with a prosperous reign, while an unjust ruler would be overthrown, their mandate revoked. The Zhou dynasty also operated under a feudal system, with the king at the top granting land to loyal nobles, who in turn provided military support. This system, while effective initially, eventually led to the fragmentation of the Zhou dynasty as these nobles grew more powerful and independent. Then came the Qin Dynasty, a short-lived but significant period. The Qin's major accomplishment was the unification of China, bringing together the warring states under one rule. This was a turning point in Chinese history, creating a sense of national identity that still resonates today. One of their most ambitious projects was the beginning of the Great Wall of China, a monumental feat of engineering designed to protect the empire from northern invaders. Finally, we move on to the Han Dynasty, an era known for its significant advancements in technology, arts and culture. Papermaking, an invention that revolutionized communication and record-keeping, was perfected during this period. The Han Dynasty also saw the establishment of the Silk Road, a network of trade routes that would connect China with the West, facilitating cultural exchange and economic growth. The fall of the Han Dynasty ushered in a period of disunity and chaos. But from the ashes, a new dynasty would rise. This roller coaster ride of dynastic rise and fall, of unity and disunity, would continue to shape the course of Chinese history, leaving an indelible mark on the civilization we know today. Out of the chaos and disunity rose the Tang Dynasty, marking the beginning of China's Golden Age. The Tang Dynasty, reigning from the 7th to the 10th centuries, was a period of exceptional creativity and innovation. During this time, Chinese poetry reached new heights of sophistication and expression. This era gave birth to some of the most revered poets in China's history, including Li Bai and Du Fu, whose works continue to be celebrated and studied today. The Tang Dynasty was also marked by remarkable advancements in technology. This was the period that saw the invention of woodblock printing, a revolutionary development that allowed for the mass production of texts. This led to an explosion in literacy and the spread of knowledge throughout the empire. But perhaps the most explosive invention of all was gunpowder. Initially used for medicinal purposes, it didn't take long for the Chinese to realize its potential in warfare, forever changing the face of battle. As the Tang Dynasty waned, the Song Dynasty rose, carrying on the spirit of innovation and progress. The Song Dynasty, lasting from the 10th to the 13th centuries, is best known for its advancements in navigation. 
They developed the Magnetic Compass, a tool that would later revolutionize seafaring and exploration for the rest of the world. The Song Dynasty also improved upon the Tang Dynasty's printing technology by inventing movable type printing. This further boosted literacy rates and the spread of knowledge. Additionally, the Song Dynasty saw significant advancements in agriculture, including the development of new rice strains and irrigation techniques leading to increased crop yields and a booming population. But like all golden ages, this one too had to end. As the Song Dynasty fell to the Mongols, a new era of foreign rule began. But the innovations and achievements of the Tang and Song dynasties left an indelible mark, not just on China, but on the entire world. They stand as a testament to China's rich history of creativity, innovation, and resilience. The fall of the Song dynasty marked the beginning of foreign rule with the establishment of the Yuan dynasty. This period, from the late 13th to the mid-14th century, was characterized by the rule of the Mongols under the leadership of Kublai Khan. As the first non-Han Chinese dynasty, the Yuan introduced a unique blend of Mongolian customs and traditional Chinese culture. Kublai Khan's reign was marked by the growth of commerce and the arts, with the capital city of Dadu, now Beijing, becoming a vibrant hub of international trade and culture. As the Yuan dynasty waned, the Ming dynasty rose to power in the mid-14th century. The Ming era was a time of great architectural accomplishments. The Great Wall, as we know it today, was largely completed during this time. The Forbidden City, an opulent symbol of imperial power, was also built under the Ming reign. It remains one of the most iconic landmarks of China, a testament to the grandeur of the ancient Chinese civilization. Finally, we arrive at the last dynasty of China, the Qing. Established in the mid-17th century, the Qing dynasty was marked by initial prosperity, followed by struggles with modernization. The Manchu rulers of the Qing made significant efforts to preserve their cultural identity while also adopting Han Chinese traditions. However, as the 19th century rolled around, the dynasty found itself grappling with internal rebellions, economic crises, and pressures from foreign powers. Increasingly unable to fend off these challenges, the Qing dynasty gradually weakened. The dawn of the 20th century saw the Wuchang Uprising, a revolution that led to the abdication of the last emperor, Puyi, and the establishment of the Republic of China. With the fall of the Qing dynasty, the era of dynasties came to an end, marking the beginning of modern China. This marked a pivotal moment in the history of China bringing an end to thousands of years of imperial rule and setting the stage for the nation we know today. From the Xia dynasty to the Qing dynasty, we've journeyed through thousands of years of Chinese history. We've traced the origins of civilization from the mythical Xia, the first dynasty of China, through to the last imperial dynasty, the Qing. We've seen how each dynasty, with its unique attributes and achievements, has shaped the course of China's history and left an indelible mark on its culture. We began with the Xia dynasty, considered by many as the cradle of Chinese civilization. Then, we ventured through the Shang and Zhou dynasties, where we saw the birth of China's written script and the philosophical teachings that would shape Chinese thought for centuries to come. From the Qin dynasty we witnessed the unification of China and the creation of the Great Wall, a monument that still stands as a proud testament to China's resilience and ingenuity. The Han dynasty introduced us to a golden age, where innovations in science, technology and culture flourished. As we moved into the era of disunity and foreign rule, we explored the Tang and Song dynasties, where we saw the blossoming of literature, art and commerce, despite the political turmoil. The Ming Dynasty, renowned for its naval explorations and the construction of the Forbidden City, showcased China's prowess on the global stage. Finally, we arrived at the Qing Dynasty, the last imperial dynasty of China. Here, we witnessed both the grandeur and the decline of an empire, leading to the birth of the modern China we know today. Each dynasty has left a unique imprint on China's cultural fabric, contributing to a rich tapestry of history that continues to influence the world. From pottery and poetry to philosophy and technology, these dynasties have shaped China's identity, and their legacies continue to resonate in the contemporary landscape. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we uncover the stories of dynasties past, shedding light on the rich tapestry of Chinese civilization that continues to shape the world today.